Dayton, Ohio. And it consists of a quarter wave coil driving the antenna and has a resonator antenna coming off the ground of the coil. This also has a timer circuit on it to go along with the spark gap for adjusting frequencies. Antennas here. Here is an antenna called the Corona Discharge Antenna. And here is the golden ratio antenna that Clark supplies with his units. This unit also has an argon bulb attachment. Trevor James Constable author of The Cosmic Pulse of Life, had the following to say in regards to the Beck-style MWOs. The MWO I regard as a false path. The cellular stimulation theories sound and seem good because they are mechanistic and therefore sympathetic with the mechanistic Weltanschauung. In between the MWO antennae, there is a general focus of ethers, it's quite evident, even with a minor extension of vision. This is the healing agency, not the sparks. The ether rushes to suppress the electromagnetic activity. But why go through all that trouble when a simple orgone blanket does a much more efficient, controllable job without that infernal juice? Keep that 115 volt juice away from the organism. My own experience with orgone accumulators leaves me with no other choice but to regard the MWO as superfluous. A good rule for any experimenter. If it gets simpler, you are on the right track.